What's good everybody? It's your boy Chaz Customs, Custom Model Cars. Big shout out to everybody out there. Much props. Thank you all for your comments. Appreciate it very much. Got another uh, model kit review for you guys, and this was on the AMT 1967 Chevrolet Impala Super Sport. It's a scale level 2, 125th scale. Um, a pretty awesome kit, let me tell you guys. A lot of awesomeness going on here. And I give this one a scale of 10. Not because I'm a big fan of Impalas and big body, you know, Chevys. But it's because this is a really, really great kit. Now, there's other versions of this one out there. They have the um, the street custom version, which has got the uh, bazooka tube in it. Um, it's got the uh, rear deck speakers, and it comes with the uh, hood scoop. Uh, and a few other little goodies and custom wheels. I really wish I had that kit, too. Um, that would be really awesome so I can have two versions, you know what I mean? But it's cool that I have this one, the stock one. I um, really love this kit. You know, there's so many things you can do with it, so... Um, there's the side box side of the box there and then you this is all like the original car itself so the interior shot the engine you know of course the box art is the same on both sides um, this is not of the actual build this is of the actual car itself the 1 1 vehicle so let's go ahead and um, crack this box open and show you guys why I labeled this a number 10 okay we're gonna start off with the instructions here you have a picture of the cart the itself with some different hubcaps they do not include this in the kit only the rally wheels so it's all good here you have the brief description of the vehicle the history of it and you have your information and then inside when you open it up you'll find your decals which are um, four license plates front and rear and then your little decal for your air cleaner but it's sad that they didn't include a uh, wax or something because this thing turned yellow it's all good. So easy to read, easy to follow. Instructions, of course, uh, nicely illustrated. So it's that. And then the body, the floor pan itself. Our floor pan and the uh, the interior is all molded in one. Really nice detail throughout. There's nothing molded here, not even the frame. This is just like the uh, 70 Monte Carlo kit. You know, really, really nice big old gas tank and then here in the interior tub you got the molded in uh, mat floor mat and the uh, gas pedal I believe that is and what's really cool is when you glue the, the, the door panels down you got like these little sills on the side you can chrome that out trim it and whatever but other than that very nice uh, floor here's the body um, you got a little flashing right in here but other than that it's really nicely molded very minimal cleanup don't like the uh, molded in door handles, but those can be removed and replaced. You have your molded in uh, uh, hood latch, which is nicely detailed, and the rad support. And uh, also you have the molded in um, fenders with the details. So this one you can remove and you know make your own or whatever you want to do so it doesn't look all weird. So It doesn't have molded in uh, windshield wipers, which is a plus. It has the molded in 427 badging there, but overall very, very nice. Okay, on this uh, this clear tree here, you have your windshield with the uh, molded in side windows, and then you got a nice tab here so it can glue up underneath the uh, where it needs to glue, and then right up in here. And then you have a clear piece for your um, for your gauges and your dash. You got nicely detailed um, headlights and these pegs. I just I still don't understand what these pegs are supposed to do. I really don't know, but it's all good. And then here you have your rear windshield. Also, again, with the uh, ledge that you can, um, you know, glue in easy. So you don't have to get glue on the windshield itself, so that's pretty cool. And then you have your clear, um, your uh, clear molded, uh, your red molded um, tail lights. So that's really awesome. Not a lot going on there, but still it's pretty cool. And then in the parts tree department we have um, we have some loose stuff oh this kit also comes with the, um, the blue printer which is like one of those mail-in things so it's that uh, let's see I'm gonna do the seats first if I can find them all there it is so here's the um, the seats front seats uh, very nicely molded and, and nicely detailed uh, it's got the raised um, detail of course just like the 66 Impala 
So that's pretty cool in itself. And then of course you have the back of your seats and you might want to do a little cleanup here so you don't have any fit issues. But other than that it's pretty nice uh, for the seats. And then on this tree you have your the front half of your um, stock exhaust with the molded in exhaust clamps. And then you have your um, your axle and your drive shaft which the heads could be a little bit bigger instead of looking a little toyish looking but other than that it looks really really nice and then there's the rear of your axle which goes in the back of here okay on this tree you got your um, back half to your um, stock exhaust system very, again very minimal cleanup you got the molded in uh, uh, exhaust clamps very nice detail to the um, tips of the muffler just a little cleanup then you have your air cleaner your steering wheel um, valve covers that are not mold, uh, that are not chrome plated which is a good thing you have your um, springs uh, I think these are the front ones and these are all one piece you got your alt you got your distributor and you have your carburetor and then over here you've got your front spindles which is nice because you can make this into a, a steerable front suspension and then you have your uh, rear uh, shocks the traction bars the manifold the heater hose and that's it so it's really nice detail and on this one you have your um, your hood which is nicely detailed and more more details underneath again a little light cleanup on the sink marks you do have to make your own um, hood hinges um, this kit does not include them so you have your uh, front springs here or the, the, I guess these are the front ones and I don't know these are, might be the rear those might be the front not for sure but it's all good then you have these little pieces that also go to your rear suspension you have the um, sway bar for the rear the steering linkage the lower and the upper um, A arms for the front and then of course the sway bar as well for the front end so very nicely detailed again these pegs just don't see no rhyme or reason why they're there so but uh, yeah so that's that one and then here you have your um, interior parts you have the um, the rear uh, molded in rear seat with the huge uh, rear deck just like the 66 Chevy and it's got the nice uh, raised detailing to it and then here you have your door panels with the molded in armrest and window cranks and little details here and there and it's got the molded in little carpet texture in the bottom of the door so that's that's good to let you know where to flock <laughs> the only thing it does not come with is uh, molded in door speakers okay here we have the um, the bottom half of the car the frame or the chassis whatever you want to call it it's very nicely detailed very nicely molded very minimal cleanup here and there um, you might have to fill in a few spots but uh, I mean just look at that it's got body mounts to it you don't see that a lot of model kits very very nice again you might need to do some cleanup some filling in but it's just a nice addition um, to the model kit itself and then here on this parts tree you have your dash molded in pedals but it's very detailed and then on the top of the dash it's got this little texture to it and then you got the molded in um, air vent here's your firewall with the molded in details uh, nothing going on in the front of it there's your radiator shroud and your fan there's your master cylinder and your alternator with the, with the molded in bracket that's a very nice touch because uh, it adds a little more detail to your model kit there's your battery. Um, you could do better with a, um, with a different battery, something a little more detailed, but that's what comes with the kit. There's your starter, water pump, your upper and lower radiator hose. There's your cylinder heads with the nice little um, details there. And then you have your um, headers, oil pan with the um, molded in oil filter, your pulley system, and uh, I think that one might be your steering box right here so and then you have your uh, radiator with the molded in uh, radiator cap which is a very nice addition has a little more realism and detail to it there's the uh, back side of it you might have to do some cleanup on those sink marks but uh, not on the radiator but on the sides of it as you can tell the big ones so but it's all good but you can really detail up this um this radiator and then of course you have your front I mean you have your left and right engine halves which are also nicely detailed really really cool okay now we're gonna move on to the uh, chrome tree here I do not have the rally wheels but if you guys go and check out bad company uh, that's my 66 Chevelle wagon that's uh, the rims I'm using on that car 
Very, very nice rims, by the way. So here you have your shifter right here. You've got your rear bumper, which you have to paint these lenses here white. Okay. And then you have the front bumper, and you're going to have to paint these amber orange. So it's got the SS badging in the middle of the grill. Really, very nicely detailed. And uh, I'm so thankful that this kit did not come with molded in headlights. Makes it a lot more, uh, more better. Um, you have your uh, center console that's uh, chrome plated. You have your uh, hood trim that goes on the bottom of the hood. And then, you've, of course, you've got the other piece for the hood scoop. And then you've got this small little radio or speaker that goes in uh, the rear seats. You've got your windshield wipers and your rear view mirror. Now, if you wanted to, um, since the uh, 66 Chevy comes with two different kinds of speakers, you can try to get you know, one or the other to fit So, because it's just a little too small, a little unrealistic. So, But other than that, you guys, that's it um, for the review. Thank you for letting me share. And uh, stay tuned for more. Um, hope you guys uh, like this uh, review, and hopefully you guys will make this kit part of your, your collection. It's an awesome kit to have. Um, and again, I'm a big fan of big Chevys and Impalas and all that stuff. So, But yep. Yeah. anyways, guys, so that's it for me on my end. Keep your heads up no matter what through all the struggles. Keep hope, keep faith, keep up the great work, keep on building those models, keep doing what you're doing. And until then, it's your boy Chaz Customs custom model cars, and I'm signing off. Peace.